Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to have a little chat about who exactly is benefiting the most from the upcoming Psychic Awakening Book 2, Faith and Fury, because there's been a fair amount of debate about this, and I've read quite a few comments, and I've seen a few videos, where essentially the consensus is, this is Chaos's book. Chaos is getting the lion's share, the Black Templars are borderline forgotten, why are they getting so little, and I've also seen things saying the exact opposite, where this is all about the Black Templars, and Chaos are an afterthought. And I think the problem is that, in a way, the comparisons that are being drawn are wrong, to be totally honest. Um, I couldn't think of a, a more like a, a nicer way to say it. There are direct comparisons being drawn between what the Black Templars get and what the Heretic Astartes get. And to be honest, depending on how you look at it, both of those arguments can be supported. That yes, this is all about Space Marines once again, or yes, this all is all about Chaos and the Black Templars get very little. It depends on how you look at it, because it's not really that simple. And to be honest, there are... I would say if you're going to do a true, um, so we say chapter to chapter comparison or warband to warband, legion to legion comparison, you would probably actually come to the conclusion that Black Templars are getting the lion's share of stuff in this particular instance. So let's just have a quick look. Let's just have a look at what we get in the book. So here is the content from the Warhammer community site. I will link the article below as always. And as you can see, we get a bit of background on Talidus. We get uh, we get some missions. We also get a bit of stuff for the Adapters of Startes, Masters of the Chapter, we get the uh, Chapter Litanies, Master of Sanctity, all that stuff. Then, page 40, we get the Black Templars. And they get 15 pages worth of stuff. I'm including the name generator in that, because everyone gets that. And uh, as you can see, we've got data sheets for significant characters, High Marshal Helbrecht, Empress Chaldron... Chaldron? Champion? It's because I try to also say Chaplain Grimaldus at the same time as saying Champion. Don't know what happened there. Cenobite Servitors and Crusader Squad. And then we've got some other stuff as well. We've got Listenies, Wall of Trade Stratagems, Relics, Points, Values, and Tactical Objectives. Now, on to the Heretic Astartes. So the Black Templars get 15 pages worth of stuff there. Although, to be honest, it very much depends on the quality and, uh, and overall effectiveness of effectiveness of what's on those pages uh, more than the actual page count I think is a fair point to make you know someone could, think, someone could make 30 pages worth of Black Templar stuff but if 15 pages of that is just incomprehensible nonsense then really who cares so the Heretic Astartes by, uh, by, by comparison it looks like they get a fair chunk I mean page 56 to 95 is dedicated to them that is 39 pages worth of stuff which again is it's it's a number to, to have, but it doesn't really mean a huge amount, let's be honest. In that, we get Champions of Ruin, which uh, essentially is just going to be a mirror, I suspect, of the, hero, the Heroes of the Black Templar stuff. So, significant members of the Heretic Astartes, all of that jazz. Demon Weapons. And uh, then we get it broken down into individual legions. And this is where the comparisons, for me, that a lot of people have drawn, are falling totally flat. Because what's being done is there is a comparison of the sum total of what the Black Templars get and the sum total of what the Heretic Astartes get. Now, each of the legions gets the same thing. So they get Warlord traits, stratagems, artifacts, tactical objectives, and a name generator. That is the same for all of them. Word Bearers, Night Lords, Alpha Legion, Iron Warriors, Empress Children, and World Eaters. They all get the same stuff. Now, with that in mind, who is getting the most care, the most attention? Who is getting the lion's share of the goods in this particular book? On the surface of it, you could say Heretic Astartes, but I think, in a way, you would be both right and wrong. See, Black Templars are obviously getting a lot more bang for their buck in terms of their mention in this in this book. I mean, in Faith and Fury, Black Templars are getting data sheets as well as everything that the the uh, the legions get. They are getting more attention. They're getting more page time for the one chapter. It's easy to look at the fact that Heretic Astartes is all clumped together under one entry and go, oh man, Chaos are just getting a load of stuff and they've just had a load of stuff. Even though actually Space Marines have just had way more stuff. But actually, when you compare it in a in a in a like for like situation, Iron Warriors are not getting anywhere near as much as Black Templars are. Alpha Legion are not getting anywhere near as much as Black Templars are. Neither are the Emperor's Children, the World Eaters, the World Bearers, or the Night Lords, because they are all individual legions. 
what I'm seeing is a lot of people going, well, Heretic Astartes is one thing, whereas Black Templars is a different type of Space Marine thing, therefore. But that's not correct, is it? Because if we're comparing like for like, you do not ca compare the Black Templars to Chaos as a faction as a whole. Black Templars are a sub-faction of the Space Marines, just as Word Bearers are a sub-faction of the Chaos Space Marines. And Black Templars are getting far more than Word Bearers are in this particular instance. That is also combined with the fact that, of course, Space Marines had a new codex fairly recently. And along with it, an entire... Not a new system of supplements. You guys have pulled me up on that a couple of times now. When I say new supplements, I'm not saying supplements are a new thing. I'm saying that they are a reintroduction of... St Look... Space Marines have got new supplements. Supplements aren't new. The supplements they've just got, they are new, if that makes sense. Th to me, this is one of those debates where it's like, if you, were, if you were comparing one chapter to the entirety of Chaos in this book, then, yeah, the entirety of Chaos is getting a little bit more. But if you're comparing one chapter to one Legion, which is a far fairer comparison, I don't know how you look at this and go, Chaos has overtaken this book. Because... It's not strictly the case. I mean, if you look at if you look at what is contained in here, how many people just I'm genuinely curious about this, how many people do you reckon have chaos armies that comprise World Bearers, Night Lords, Alpha Legion, Iron Warriors, Empress Children, and World Eaters all at the same time? How many people have chaos armies that have significant chunks of every single traitor legion? like making up the entirety of that army. I'm going to go ahead and guess, not many. When it comes to an army of Space Marines, I'm going to suggest that there are more people with a pure Black Templars force than there are people who have like a small force of every single Chaos Legion plus Warbands or whatever. And on a like-for-like -like basis, it's really not looking like Chaos are getting all that much. They're getting a broad spread of changes to multiple different warbands, yes. But Black Templars are getting much more of a... I say much more of a... Comparatively, more of a deep dive into what they are, who they are, what they do. You know, significant characters. I was going to... I mean, saying that it's a deep dive is a little bit of an exaggeration because, as I say, it's not... It's not a vast amount of information that you're getting out of this because it's 15 pages, one of which is a name generator. But still, but still, on a on a chapter to chapter comparison, it still feels like Black Templars are coming out of this not terribly. I don't feel like they're being crushed or squished due to an overwhelming presence of new chaos rules. This is a small update for various different Chaos factions and a larger update for a single Space Marine faction. The real thing, actually, it really isn't as to whether whether one one group is benefiting more than the other, whether whether Heretic Astartes are running away with the quality in this book and whether, you know, the Black Templars actually aren't getting anywhere near enough. The the real test is going to be seeing what these rules are and seeing just how this is formulated. If Black Templars get very little that actually makes them interesting or effective, if they get very little that actually changes things up for them, then it really doesn't matter what they you know, what <laughs> what the Heretic Astarity stuff got, because at the end of the day Black Templar still didn't get what they want and it's the same the other way around, if you if you're looking at like, what the Heretic Astartes get, yeah, there's a fair chunk of stuff in there, it's all split amongst different legions and warbands and therefore not quite the same as what Black Templars are getting, but if their stuff is just worthless, then again, can't really say that it's like the book that made chaos. It's it's just not that simple. It depends on like whether you're doing like for like, whether you're looking at it from the point of view of lumping all of chaos together, even though you know this is like a separate space mean chapter, whether you're looking at just page count as a whole, but then page count, is it really that relevant when you actually look at it because it depends on the quality of what's in there i'm honestly leaning towards the fact that if you look at it as a case of okay well word bearers are an equivalent to black templars and black templars are equivalent of word bearers but split across two factions then clearly black templars are getting the most if you're talking about an overall faction update that brings some of the some of the aspects of chaos that need a bit of a tweak into the limelight again then yeah 
that is that is more but more isn't always comparable directly and at the end of the day we still don't know what the contents of this thing is 100 percent. yeah there's leaks and there's rumors there's all sorts of stuff about what is in there um i haven't made a video on that stuff yet just because a lot of it is very contradictory and so it'll be a case of here's a bunch of information some of it might be right some of it might be wrong the bits that i think might be right might be wrong and it all like it's it's too much it's too convoluted and messy right now um but until we actually see what they get it's very difficult to sit there and go yes this lot have definitely had the best treatment here i'm leaning towards black templars having got it if we're doing pre pre-material judging but we kind of just have to wait and see either way the Heretic Astarte stuff, I really don't think is as major as some people are saying. I really don't think this is like the book for chaos. It's the book for certain people who play certain legions for chaos or use certain legions rules for chaos. It's not... It, not everything in here is applicable to every single chaos player. Like, as I said before, someone who plays Empress Children is not going to care about the word bearer stuff. Someone who plays Iron Warriors is not going to care about the Alpha Legion stuff. Someone who plays World Eaters is not going to care about the about the Iron Warriors stuff. It's all totally different. But all Black Templars are going to care about what Black Templar stuff is in there. So, yeah. It's just, I guess, another argument to throw into the hat of the various arguments that I keep seeing about it. So, not really solving anything. Just maybe look at it a different way, I guess. Really... The question is, what do you think? Do you reckon that one particular faction is getting all the love here? Do you prefer to break it down into a legion by legion slash warband by warband um, situation, like I'm looking at it, or are you viewing it as a whole thing of Black Templars in this particular book are being treated the equivalent to all of these different heretic astartes, and as such, that's the way to compare it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, as always. Uh, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all this stuff, and uh, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games. If you click it, you get some money off, and uh, I get something for sending you that way. You'd save like 15 to 25% on literally all the things ever that Element sells, which is everything. And uh, at the end of the month, 10% of anything you put through that link will go to charity. So it's a nice way to support the channel, no extra effort, and a uh, little bit extra as well. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Toodaloo.